What's squacking? Molly Skyler fans. Hashtag Skyler Nation. I'm at La Mexicana Cantina and Grill. And I'm about to take on their seven pound burrito challenge. I've got 45 minutes to do it. Oh, I've eaten many seven pound burritos. It's very, very possible. But I've heard rumors this is not a seven pound burrito. So we're about to go in here and see what we are about to face. Mom and woman versus food. Cleaning my plate because waste and food is rude. Let's make sure we keep that going today. Let's find out what we're getting into. Let's go. Alright guys, so the burrito came out. It looks slightly larger than the picture. Um, seven pounds. I don't know if that's a seven pound burrito. It's a full sheet tray. <laughs> So I'm gonna kind of go against the fact that this might be a seven pound burrito because I've eaten seven pound burritos before and I don't know if that is one. Uh, I guess we'll find out, right? <laughs> uh, it's still hot on the inside, but you know what? We're just gonna go for it. So this might take a little longer than usual, but gosh, it looks really good. Oh my God. And I've gotten it all over my other sweater, so I had to change clothes. So we're gonna do this. I do not have to eat the uh, lettuce, tomato stuff on the side, but. I probably will because I like lettuce tomato. So we'll see. Three, Ready? two, one. She said what? Ready? Yeah. Good. Wow. Yeah, that's how it's all real. I have 45 minutes to eat it, by the way. This is, I'd say, well over a 10 pound burrito. <laughs> this is like a 10 pound burrito. It's big, it's got the beans and everything in it, so. Good luck. Let us know if you need anything. Thank you. Now it's something about real. I'm not going carnage style on this one. Not happening. I wonder if I'll do this. I'd say it's closer to a 12 pound burrito, which actually is not a big deal. Except for the fact that it really isn't a wet burrito. It's, it's all full of dry stuff. Um, which is not a big deal, but I, there is no, gonna be no land speed records on this one today, I'll tell you that right now. Ooh, I wish I would have pressed Wow. 
To. That's the one thing you can leave apart. Now nah, eat it. All right. Can I get you anything at all? Nah. All right. I can bring my maracas and shake them a little. Give you up. Uh, well, we can shake it together later. Huh? All right. Uh. All right. Good luck. <laughs> I'll come and check on you again. Okay. Because this looks really awesome. Everybody doing great here? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
There is going to be someday they can actually give me a challenge that's going to be too big and I'm going to be like, Ugh. <laughs> That's not today, but it's going to happen. <laughs> definitely a 10 plus. I'm going to go borderline between 12 and 14 pound burrito because I know how I feel when I eat certain things and I've eaten many 10 pound burritos and I've got a gut. Um, not a 7 pound burrito. It was really good though. Um, so lots of meat, lots of beans, cheese, lots of burps, mm. burrito sauce, sour cream, lettuce, and cheese. And the tomatoes were not optional, or they were optional, but no, let me do it anyway. Why not? It's good, right? In the words of Randy Santel, healthy vegetables. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. If there are any other things that you would like to see me do, great. Send me that way, or if you have any suggestions for home challenges, let me know. And if you'd like to drop any donations or send something or sponsor something, you can check out a link in the description and we can work on that also. Thanks for watching. Mm. We're not going to do it. I love burritos. We'll catch you next time.